Today is really a prayer meeting of 21 prayer points. Each prayer point you are going to pray will give you abundant testimonies. So when the time comes, it will be dangerous to keep quiet. It will be dangerous to be a gentleman, a gentlewoman. The Bible says, as from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence and the violent ticketed by force. Before we go into those prayer sessions, there are seven songs I want you to sing. As you are singing this song, the miracle power of God will begin to move from person to person. Sing this song loud and clear. Sing it aggressively. As you are singing this song, evil loads will be going back to the senders. As you are singing this song, every agenda of darkness for your life will be disgraced. As you are singing this song, if you brought any infirmity here, the power of God will strike you while you are singing and the infirmity shall go back to the senders. As you are singing this song, the glory of God will begin to overshadow your life. Just make sure that nobody's voice is louder than yours as you sing. And sing it from your heart. Are you ready now? I'm serving a God of miracles.
God is moving from person to person here. That's right. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you because your power is the absolute power. We thank you, Lord, because it is written that he has given him a name which is above all names. That in the name of Jesus, every knee should bow. Of things in heaven, of things on earth, of things underneath the earth. So in the name which is above all names, Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Anyone in this garden today that has been pursued by the oppressor, receive your deliverance in the name of Jesus. In the name which is above all names, Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. As many as are here in this meeting, and you have been pursued. There is a Pharaoh that does not want to let you go. The enemy is sitting on your children. The enemy is sitting on your business. The enemy is sitting on your health. The enemy is sitting on your breakthrough. As many people as are in this meeting under that category. Right there where you are, receive your deliverance. Receive it, 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 in the name of Jesus. Anyone in this service now that is a plantation of the enemy in your body. There is a witchcraft sponsored infirmity in your body. There is an arrow of darkness in your body. Right there where you are. Something is happening to you. The hand of the Lord is coming upon you. Right there where you are. And that yoke is broken in the name of Jesus. Aha.
And that person, this is your first time here, but the enemy has been rotating you from problem to problem. And they have practically wasted everything you have. Right here where you are. The power of God is coming upon you. And that yoke of wastage is broken now. Father, I pray, as many people as are here, and somewhere along the line, the enemy has stolen from them. What the enemy has stolen from you, right from your mother's womb up to the present day, repossess your possession, 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 in the name of Jesus. Seven fold in Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Say thank you, Jesus. Before you sit down, I'd like you to prophesy into the life of three persons. Look at somebody straight in the eye. Say, my friend, you shall arise by fire and move into your testimonies. In the name of Jesus, say the three persons. Thank you, Jesus. Professor, into the life of five persons now. Make sure they are five. Look at somebody straight in the eye. Say every power. Calling your name for evil shall be disgraced. In the name of Jesus. Say to five persons. Now, before you sit down, seven persons now, which is the sign of perfection. Make sure there are seven in number. Look at the person straight in there. Say, every roadblock against your breakthrough shall collapse within 24 hours. In the name of Jesus, say to seven persons, The roadblocks are collapse. Let's have a seat for a few minutes. God bless. Today, like I told you, we're having a 21-point prayer meeting. Each point will bring forth signs and wonders for everyone gathered here. But meanwhile, let's look at the scriptures where we're going to base our prayers. In 1 Kings chapter 13, 1 Kings chapter 13, from there we take the title of our short message. 1 Kings chapter 13. 1 Kings chapter 13. I read from verse 1. Please open your Bibles to the book of 1 Kings chapter 13 from verse 1. That's where we're taking our topic from. 1 Kings chapter 13 from verse 1. And behold, there came a man of God out of Judah by the word of the Lord unto Bethel. And Jeroboam stood by the altar to burn incense. 
An altar is a place of communication between spirits. An altar is a place of spiritual traffic. I'm praying for somebody here. At every evil altar erected to demote you shall catch the owner. In the name of Jesus. That your amen is not loud enough. So the altar is a serious business. Verse 2. And he cried against the altar in the word of the Lord. And said, oh altar, altar, thus said the Lord. The man spoke to the altar as if the altar has ears to hear. So in the spiritual realm, the altar is a living being. Actually, it is in biology you have living things and non-living things. In the spiritual realm, everything has ears, they can hear. He spoke to the altar. Although there were human beings gathering around the altar, he disregarded them. But he addressed the altar. I'm praying for somebody once more today that the altar speaking demotion to your life shall receive demotion today. In the name of Jesus. And he cried against the altar in the word of the Lord and said, O altar, O altar, thus said the Lord, Behold, a child shall be born into the house of David, Josiah by name. See, that child was not born. The name was already given as assignment already indicated. Josiah by name. And upon thee shall he offer the priests of the high places that burn incense upon thee. And men's bones shall be burned upon thee. What a prophecy. Said Josiah is to be born. And these priests were sacrificing on this altar. Instead of the animals they are sacrificing here. Is the priest this boy will born on the altar. I'm praying for somebody else. Every satanic priest ministering against you by any evil altar, whether the altar is in Lagos here, whether it's outside Lagos, whether it's in the forest, it's under the water or in the heavenlies, they shall be disgraced. And the altar they have erected shall catch them. Just like here. They were the ones sacrificing on the altar. The altar will eventually catch them. And he gave a sign the same day saying, This is a sign which the Lord has spoken. Behold, the altar shall be rent. And the ashes that are upon it shall be poured out. And it came to pass when King Jeroboam heard the sin of the man of God, which had cried against the altar in battle, that he put forth his hand from the altar, saying, Lay hold on him. Lay hold on him. Every power that wants to lay hold on you for evil shall be disgraced in the name of Jesus. There was an evil command. Lay hold on him. And his hand which he put forth against him dried up. So that he could not pull it in again to him. The altar also was rent. And the ashes poured out from the altar according to the sign which the man of God had given by the word of the Lord. Shout this louder than anyone around you. Evil hand. Wither. Can you shout that loud? Shout it again. By the power. In the blood of Jesus. Say it again. Amen. 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 That's our topic. Evil hands wither. The king Jeroboam pointed at the prophet of God and said, lay hold on him. The finger that he pointed withered. So that the people he gave the order could not even carry out the order. Because the giver of the order is now in trouble. Every power issuing evil orders against you shall be troubled. I have some words of prophecy for those who are gathered here this day, especially in this very, very special palm of strangers. The problems that consume others shall announce you.
in the name of Jesus. Every satanic serpent that has swallowed your glory shall vomit them. Your amen is not loud enough. In the name of Jesus. Every power that has been waiting for your downfall shall be randomly disgraced. The angels of the living God, they shall move against any power delaying your breakthrough. In the name of Jesus. Your amen is not loud enough. These are words from the Lord to those who are gathered here today. The last thing I should tell you that those your past errors shall be converted into promotion. In the name of Jesus. And that which is demoting others shall promote you. Thus said the Spirit of the Living God. Every plan of the enemy to steal your laughter is cancelled now. In the name of Jesus. Not only that, the last thing I should tell somebody here, every prison house confronting your destiny shall be first open. In the name of Jesus. Let your amen roll like thunder. And the God of performance shall do the impossible in your life. Then every altar of stagnation assigned against you, assigned against your family, assigned against your children, assigned against your career, shall backfire. In the name of Jesus. Say evil hand. Wither. By the power. In the blood of Jesus. Shout his love. Shout it again. Shouting the torture. Have your seat. Listen to these hard facts. We've just read a Bible passage. First Kings chapter 13 was not written by Dr. Lukoya. It was not written by Mountain of Fire. It was not me that sent this prophet. It was the Almighty God that sent him. Notice the content of his message. He came to prophesy death upon the enemies. So you priest, sacrificing on this altar, on this very same altar, your own bodies and bones shall be burnt. That was the prophecy. It was God that sent him. It was not on his own personal agenda. It was there for divine agenda. But then when he got there, he saw Jeroboam. Jeroboam, the king of Israel, was there with all his chiefs, commander-in-chief of armed forces, all his ministers were gathered by the altar. And this prophet was there, this single prophet. But because he was backed up by the awesome God, he mesmerized and confused his enemies. He troubled them. In fact, they had to beg him. Please, it will be an embarrassment for the king to be going about like this. And they will say, oh king, put down your hand. No, no, it's not possible. The prophet from Judah said the hand should remain like this. They had to beg him. I see somebody here. Your enemies will come to beg you. Amen. Because the hand of your God will be hard upon them. Listen to these hard facts. It will cost God nothing to kill those who do not want you to live. It will cost God nothing to send into captivity those who do not want you to be free. 
It will cost God nothing to cause failure to those who do not want you to succeed. It will cost God nothing to blindfold the evil eyes that are focused on you. It will cost God nothing to cause to wither the evil hands pointed towards you. Every hand soaked in charms and concussion pointing against you. Every hand soaked in magical portions pointed against you. I mean you. Those hands shall wither. They 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 shall wither. In the name of Jesus. And as a result of the meeting you are coming to today, God will cause you to become danger to your enemies. This year, every plan of the enemy to strike you shall fail. Every evil finger pointed at your life, your family shall end in shame. And those that are discussing your life in order to hurt you, they shall be scattered. King Jeroboam's hand withered. It dried up. Beloved, these are terribly wicked days. Please believe what I'm telling you now. These are terribly wicked days. Plenty of men and women educated and uneducated are going deeper and deeper and deeper into the occult to have the upper hand against their neighbors. But we Christians have given them so much room to maneuver. Give them so much room to just do whatever they want. And so they think they can do anything they want to do. I profess for somebody here. That fellow who wants to attack you with a magic arrow. The angel of God shall retrieve the magic arrow from his hand. Amen. The angel of God shall retrieve the power from his hand and plant it inside him. These are wicked days. And there are plenty of King Jerubans, King Jerubans, that are attacking the children of God. What does Jerubam represent? We mean the well connected enemies. We're talking about the organized oppressors. That's the spirit of Jerubam. We're talking about executive tormentors. We're talking about what the Bible calls the kings of the earth rise up. We're talking about arrogant enemies. Those are the spirits of Jeroba. We're talking about agents of evil altars who have so much confidence on their altar. So much confidence on their altar. Simply because we give them room to maneuver. If all the Christians in Lagos State gather themselves together one day and they take a decision that every fetish power, every altar raised up in this Lagos will be desolate. A single prayer meeting is enough to nullify their powers. They capture the brother in the bus. Ritual killers. And they drove and drove and took him through a thick forest. And when they go to that thick forest, these ritual killers, these kidnappers, they have their own prison yard inside the deep forest. The brother was thrown there too. And he saw plenty of people. He even recognized somebody he knew. And they'll be looking for the person. Couldn't find the person. The brother was on dry fast when he was even captured inside the bus. So they looked at him, they found that he could be troublesome. So they decided to use him for sacrifice before even the others that came before him. And the kind of sacrifice is to bury them alive in order to make money magic. This is a terrible situation. When fellow human beings are ready to bury other human beings alive because of money, it's a tragedy indeed. 
Can you declare this loud and clear? That the enemy will not sacrifice my destiny. In the name of Jesus. Say it again. Amen. They threw him into the grave, dug for him. A grave, deeper than normal grave. He went right down. And they began to pour sand upon him. The sand made him to fall down and was covered up. And after issues of incantations, they walked away. That was in the night. The brother said he was feeling suffocated, but somehow he kept breathing little by little. He was feeling agitated. He felt as if his life was going out. So all of a sudden, from the top of the grave, shone a bright light. A bright light. And the voice said, follow me. He didn't know what provided the staircase. He didn't know what provided the ladder. He just walked out and began to follow this angelic being who led him through the forest. Through the forest. And eventually, because he hadn't eaten for days, he was tired. He fell down inside the forest and told the angel leading that I'm hungry. The angel said, okay, you want to eat? And quickly, a plate of rice appeared. Amen. With 24 pieces of meat. The brother ate everything. And was following the angel, following the angel. At a stage, he fell down again. By the time he opened his eyes, opened his eyes, he found himself at the front of this blessed. Amen. Somebody was captured along the road to Badagri. The angel of God transported him back so that he can receive prayers. We, Christians, are the ones allowing all this rubbish and nonsense to take place. We are the ones allowing native doctors to still be making money. We are the ones that are living in Jerusalem to roam around. We need to wake up from our sleep. Very soon you begin to realize that lipstick, makeup, all those things have no effect on Jerusalem. When battle comes, serious-minded people are needed. All the men hanging chains on their necks, you find that that chain will not help you when Jerubam is pointing at you. It needs more seriousness. Coven directors, those are the Jerubams. All the diviners, the charmers, the enchanters, Jerubams. All the yoke manufacturers, the Jerubams. All the kingly strong men, Jerubams, spirit of Jerubam. All those who would fake tabernacle, troubling people around, Jerubams. All those powers mocking God in people's lives, they are the powers of Jerubam. They point the finger of sorrow, the finger of demotion, the finger of bewitchment. The finger of death. The finger of misdirection. The finger of diversion. The finger of confusion. The finger of wastage. The finger of poverty. And the finger of sickness. They are the ones pointing those fingers. David asked a very powerful question. When he saw Goliath, he was surprised was surprised. These days, we have believers running away from people with fetish power. This is strange. These days, we have people writing letters. Please help me. Let me change my accommodation. I just discovered that the person living beside me is a native doctor. Believer running away? The reverse should be the case. They should be the one fleeing when they see you. If they are not fleeing from you, something is wrong with you as a believer. When Goliath appeared at that battlefield and he has been boasting for 40 days and David came one day, David was surprised. So he asked them question. He said, excuse me, but 
Who is this uncircumcised Philistine that he may defy the army of the living God? Say, who, who, who is he? As far as David was concerned, the man was not an issue. To them, he was carrying them. Who, who is this uncircumcised Philistine? What kind of rubbish and nonsense is this? What insult is this? Uncircumcised Philistine. That he may be defying the armies of the living God. So, as far as David was concerned, Goliath was not a problem. Goliath should be the one running away, not the men of God running. And when the battle started, the Bible says David ran towards Goliath, which was a shock to Goliath because he wasn't used to people running to him, he was used to people running away. I'm praying for somebody here. The Goliath of your father's house that has been pursuing you since you were a little child. Right there where you are. Pursue that Goliath now. In the name of Jesus. Let your amen roar like thunder. No matter how big, no matter how strong, no matter how powerful that the oppressor may be, they are nothing when you confront them with the power of your God. It really does not matter what a lawyer is saying. It doesn't matter what a judge is saying. It doesn't matter what the doctors are saying. The important thing is this. All those things they are saying can be overruled by the power of God. What do you do when you are confronting your Jeroboam? You order the battle. Order the battle. In First Kings chapter 20, verse 14. First Kings 20, 14. Order the battle. First Kings 20, 14. Oh, let me pick it from 13. First Kings 20, 13. And behold, there came a prophet unto Herab, king of Israel, saying, Thus said the Lord, as thou seen all this great multitude, behold, I will deliver it into thy hand this day. And thou shalt know that I am the Lord. But the army was so large. The enemy was so big. Ahab was afraid. Verse 14. And Ahab said, by whom? And he said, just said the Lord. Even by the young men of the princes of the prophecies. <laughs> then Ahab said, who shall order the battle? And he answered, Thou. King Ahab did not know how to go about the battle confronting him. He had an army, but he did not know what to do in the battle. So he asked the man of God, I've heard that I will defeat them, but who will order this battle? You. You. Order the battle. Like Ahab. Many of us are confronted with battles now. We don't even know how to confront. We know the Bible. We know the blood of Jesus. We know the songs. We know the Psalms. But we are waiting for somebody to give us order for the battle. Order the battle for us. We sometimes wait until it's too late. You need to order the battle. That is the purpose of our 21 prayer points. What does it mean to order the battle? Set out the manner of the battle. Give the cry or command to, to start the fight. Like a boxing referee who will say, fight! He orders the battle. The referee orders the battle in a boxing match. And once he says, fight! He won't say, hold on, or, or unless somebody wants to die or the, the person is not fighting back. So, who will order the battle? Thou. That. In the primary school I went to, we used to have a demonic place at the back of the school. The nickname for the place is the arena where parents' eyes do not reach. In that place, that's where people fight after school hours. Once people offend each other in, in the classroom and they cannot fight in class because of the teacher, they will threaten each other. We shall meet at the arena where parents' eyes do not reach. And after school hours, they got 
And always, there is always spectators in that place who will say, hey, you people want to fight? Fight now. And if you seem unwilling to fight, somebody comes forward, put sand in the two hands. So if you are willing to fight, shake it off. And say, I shake. And say, I shake. And fight will start. They beat themselves to nonsense. A man orders them into the battle. So when you say order the battle, it means issue a battle cry. So whenever you sense a battle, put your, yourself in order. Prepare for battle. Give out the battle cry and start the battle. You overthrow the enemy instead of waiting for them to attack you. We need to pray this 21 with daring prayers today. And as a result of this prayer, the covenant meeting that are signed against anyone here will dry up. That amen is very weak. Rise up on your feet. Look for seven persons and tell them that every evil plan concerning your life shall wither by the power in the blood of Jesus. Every evil plan concerning your life shall wither by the power in the blood of Jesus. Shout it at seven persons now. Make sure there are seven in number. Amen. Remain standing, beloved. All eyes closed. Very soon, we are going into this 21 with daring prayers. Prayers that will cause the covens, the enemies, and to wither. But I'm here to offer you maximum assistance. So if you are here this morning, you are not born again. You have not just surrendered your life to Jesus. You can't pray any such prayers. So wherever you are, while all eyes are closed, say, Pastor, I want to pray the prayer that will wither the coven of darkness. I want to surrender my life to Jesus. You are not born again. You want to do so today. Very quickly, leave that seat. Find a way to the altar here or any of the two altars at the back. Jesus is waiting for you here. It will be a disaster if you leave this place today with a plastic experience. Find a way to the altar very quickly. You want to pray the withering prayers. But you want to surrender your life to Jesus. Do so very quickly now.
Those of you at the altars, I congratulate you. You've taken the most important decision in life. Please bow down your heads and see what I'm going to say after. The Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for sending Jesus to die for my sins. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. As from today, I say bye-bye to the devil. I enter into the kingdom of light. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I'm going to pray with you now. Father, I thank you for your children here. I pray, O oh Lord, that you uphold them by your power. Lay your hands upon them. The decision you've taken today shall be permanent in your life. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Keep them standing by your power. In Jesus' name we pray. Those of us who are on our seat, very quietly, tell the Lord to forgive you of any sin that will strengthen your enemies against you. Ask him to forgive you now. Bow down your heads and talk to the Lord. Let's rise up on our feet, please. These are not prayers to pray sitting down. When it's time to sit, I like you to sit. You don't have a Jeroboam pointing at you and say, Leo, hold on him and you are sitting down. With fire and with power, you will pray these prayers. We have 21 to pray. Make sure you participate in all these 21 prayers before you leave this arena. Can I hear your mouth saying this loud and clear? Coven fingers pointed against my life. Be that in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to deal with that. This is not a day to negotiate. We are not here to negotiate. That's right. In Jesus' name we pray. That simple prayer we prayed. If you know what it has done now. That person with an evil growth in your body. Check it now. You'll find that it has disappeared. Somebody whose eyes are poorly focused. It's a blindness that is being sponsored by witchcraft. Check it now. Open your eyes. You'll see me more clearly here. The power of God has fallen upon you. There is pressure upon the womb of somebody over there. Something wants to come out that the enemy has been using against you. Yes, it's coming. It's coming. Yeah, it's out now. That's right. Say this loud and clear. Agenda of my enemies against my life. Wither. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and decree it and wither. Thank you, Jesus. Aha, aha. In Jesus' name we pray. Has someone here? Your benefits that have been caged by the waters, your benefits that have been caged by the waters, has been released as we are praying that prayer. This next three prayers, please oh, don't joke with them. There are plenty of breakthroughs attached to them. Large mouth of my enemies, we die in the name of Jesus. Masenta kaya bo shanda raba, ribo soponde kaya bo sente yaba. Jesus' name we pray. Aha. There are 25 persons here. 
Some words have been programmed into some fetish power against you and thrown into the forest and the waters. Those people, right there where you are, the power of God is coming upon you. And it is possible that you may not be able to stand on your feet because that hour of darkness is going back to the senders. That's number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. Number five. Number six, number seven, number eight, number nine, number ten, number eleven. Number twelve. What's happening? Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, number twenty. Enough is enough. Let her go. Let her go. In the name of Jesus. That's right. The man that has spoken against your promotion has been silenced now. Say, feet of my enemies. Hear the word of the Lord. We die. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and decree it. Something is happening here. In Jesus' name we pray. Wicked altars are signed against my life. Scatter down in the name of Jesus. Command the wicked altars to scatter and to burn. In Jesus' name we pray. Uh That's right. The weapons of the enemy, the body, has been shaken out now. The weapon of infirmity is being shaken out now. The powers that have converted the head, the heart, the womb into their altars, they are departing now. The power of God is coming upon that woman over there. That's right. Aha. Thank you, Jesus. The enemy is trying to glue somebody's head to one side. Shake that head very well now. And the arrow will go back to the senders. All the plantation of oppression in the head. Shake that head very well now. The arrows of oppression will go back to the senders. Thank you, Jesus. Power source of my enemies. Dry up. In the name of Jesus, dry up the apostles. In Jesus' name we pray. If we see what is happening here now. Uh Supporters of my enemies. We are. In the name of Jesus. Command their supporters of we are. Aha. 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 In Jesus name we pray. If you are that person here and a long time ago you went to seek for solution to your problem and they gave you blood to drink. Blood to drink. Please run quickly to this altar. 
and be on your knees so that the Lord can deliver you today. Everybody with an angry voice, you should pray this prayer. Angry powers that pursued my ancestors. I want your voice to roar like thunder. It is not loud enough, beloved. Go back in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and decree. They must go back. Jesus name we pray say demonic army assigned against me I set you into confusion demonic army assigned against me I set you into confusion in the name of Jesus open your mouth and declare it loud and clear Set them into confusion. In Jesus' name we pray. We're making fantastic progress. Shout this after me. Say, powers! Siphoning my blessings. With the in the name of Jesus. Yes, if they are siphoning your blessings, command them to wither. Aha, 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 aha. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Say every evil gathering speaking failure into my life. Like somebody needs to shout that prayer. We die by fire in the name of Jesus. Command them to wither. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Jeroboam powers of my fathers are. Can you shout that loud and clear? What are you waiting for? In the name of Jesus. Masekatenda yabo shende rabakanta. Aha. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray. Those of you at the altar here. Open your mouth, begin to breathe in and out through the mouth and through the nose. As you are doing that, the angels of God are pouring the blood of Jesus into your throat, down into your belly. Drink the blood of Jesus. Drink it. Drink. 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 The blood of Jesus. It's happening. That's right. What you have eaten or swallowed, the blood that you have eaten or swallowed, the power of God is removing them from your system now so that you can be free. That's right. Yes, Father, 
Let there be an evacuation of the evil material in the body of these people. In the name of Jesus. Beginning from today, let every closed door be open unto you. Let the power of God arise and fight all your battles. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. You may go back to your seat rejoicing now. The hand of God has landed upon you today. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Shout this loud and clear. Power of incantations. Uttered against me. We there. In the name of Jesus. Masikatenda yabo shende raba. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Say any power that takes my name to wish doctors shall die within 24 hours. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and decree it now. Put your mouth up, put your mouth and say it. In Jesus' name we pray. If you are here with any infirmity in your body, this is the time to lay your hands upon it and let your amen roar like thunder. Father, in the name of Jesus, it is written, touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. It is written, the strangers shall be afraid, they shall fade out of their close places. It is written, that you yourself bore our infirmities and took away our sicknesses. This shall pass us of our pieces upon you, and by your stripes we are healed. By the stripes of Jesus, by the power in the blood of Jesus, no matter what infirmity is present in anybody's body here, lose your hold in the name of Jesus. Receive your healing. 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 In the name of Jesus. Something is happening now. Father, let your surgeon angels come into this gathering now and begin their surgery. Upon each and everyone needing it here. In the name of Jesus. It is written. That in the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. All things were made by him. Without him was nothing made that was made. Every organ in anybody. That needs to be recreated. Receive the resurrection power. Receive it. 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 In the name of Jesus. Check your body now. Do what you are not able to do before. Let there be silence while that is happening. Check your body. Stretch that leg. Bend that neck. Check that womb. Check those eyes. Check the ears. Look at what is happening over there. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Amen. If you are here in this meeting and this month of April is your birthday, 
Rise up on your feet now. We want to pray with you. Also, if this month of April is your wedding anniversary, rise up on your feet too. We'd like to pray with you. Both those of us who are standing, those of us who are sitting, we should be saying a loud amen. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. I thank you for the life of these your children here. And I thank you for what you have been doing in their lives. As they are celebrating their birthday and wedding anniversary this month, let your hand be upon them for good. All the blessings that has escaped you before now, you shall possess them in the name of Jesus. The Lord the God of hosts will give you beautiful birthday presents. Beautiful wedding anniversary present. His hand shall be upon you for good. You shall be blessed. 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 In the name of Jesus. Your mother shall be blessed. In the name of Jesus. And this by this time next year, you become a bigger bundle of testimonies. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. A louder amen. amen. Let's rise up on our feet as we bring out our prayer request now. And while holding our prayer request on our right hand, we pray the final seven prayers. I want you to go home under that anointing. Hold your prayer letter in your right hand. Father, we thank you for these prayer letters. Answer them by fire. Every prayer point written on these prayer letters. Let them become testimonies in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Say this after me with boiling anger. Every assignment of satanic hunters against my life wither by fire. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to pray. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. That's number one. Highs of darkness assigned to monitor me. We die. In the name of Jesus. Last track. In Jesus' name we pray. So, oh God, Allah, pass through this land in violent anger. And slay the wicked in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and decree. Pass through this land in violent anger and slay the wicked. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Any power. Making covenants with the enemy to destroy me. Die! In the name of Jesus. That's right. In Jesus' name we pray. All repentant witchcraft. Die the death of Goliath. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and decree that want you. That's right. In Jesus name we pray. Say oh God Allah. Cut off the arms of the wicked. In the name of Jesus. 
Man strikes. Cut down the arms of the wicked. In Jesus' name we pray. Finally, before you go, shout this louder than anyone around you. This is not the prayer to negotiate. Powers assigned to steal from me this month. Wither in the name of Jesus. Command them to wither. In Jesus' name we pray. Silence, beloved. I have a word for somebody here. The Lord said I should tell somebody, I don't know who the person is, that the gathering of darkness that wants to disgrace you, that before this next week runs to an end, they shall all be disgraced. Amen. Also, there is somebody in this meeting. You have been waiting on the Lord, asking questions. The Lord said, I should tell you that within the next 10 days, you shall experience the God of Elijah. That's right. Thank you, Jesus. That place that they say you and your children will not reach. The Lord said I should tell you that as a result of your prayer here this morning, it will take you there. That's right. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord said he would do a miracle in somebody's life that the doctors shall be shocked. And all the poverty of the past shall be forgotten. Father, it is written that your children shall to the hills raise up their head. For there comes their help. Their help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. You will not suffer their feet to be moved. For if their keeper they will not slumber. The keeper at Israel shall end up slumber and sleep. The Lord shall keep your going and your coming out. The Lord shall keep you in all your ways. No evil shall be for you. Now that shall any plague move near your camp. It is well with you. Go from strength to strength. And from glory to glory. The womb of this month shall deliver blessings unto your life. In the name of Jesus. And by the coming power of change hands, your testimony shall be great. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. That person over there that the doctors have predicted your death, I have a word for you. The Lord said you shall not die but live to declare the works of God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Shout it loud, hallelujah. For those of you who are expecting the touch of Jehovah tonight, shout it loud, hallelujah. If you know that tonight, every ancestral Goliath shall be disgraced. Shout it loudest, hallelujah. Let's close our eyes as we lift our hands to the Lord and sing this song loud and clear. Lift up Jesus. He is King of King. Lift up Jesus. He is Lord of Lord. Hallelujah. Lift up.
silence now. Within the next few minutes, the power of God without dilution will flow into everyone whose heart is ready to receive from the Lord. So, wherever you are, and you are connected to this program, or you are here physically, wherever you are, connect to the power of the God who created the heavens and the earth. Connect to the power of him who has no respect for impossibility. Connect to the power of him who goes from country to country, city to city, village to village. Connect to the imperial power. As I pray now, let your amen be super dynamic. Father, in the name of Jesus. That amen is not loud enough. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, we are gathered at this program. Plugging your head into the socket of divine blessings. Father, I'm praying right now. That as many people as are here. As many people as are connected to this program. 
every evil personality troubling the destiny of anyone should depart right now in the name of Jesus every double personality triple personality troubling anyone here multiple personalities that place you are is not your habitation for it is written that every tree that the father has not planted shall be rooted up and thrown into the fire so any force any personality any power that is troubling the destiny of anyone here or anyone connected to this program in the name which is above all names jesus christ the son of the living god lose your hold now lose your hold 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 in the name of jesus father as many people whose spirits have been imprisoned and so they cannot achieve their potential whatever social people are now let the power of deliverance fall upon them in the name of jesus receive your deliverance receive your deliverance receive your deliverance receive your deliverance in the name of jesus let your amen rule like thunder Let there be silence now. Father, as many as are connected to this program, and the problem they are having is a problem of envious witchcraft. Let the arrows of envious witchcraft upon such people backfire now. In the name of Jesus. something is happening right now that ten persons like this personality that follows you about spoiling everything you are doing right there where you are the hand of fire is coming upon you to release you from that grip that's number one number two number three number four number five six seven eight nine ten you can't follow her anymore let her go, let her go, let her go, let her go, let her go. In the name of Jesus. I address that personality that covers your correct self up. Demoting your correct spirit and representing you in the spirit realm. Be released from that grip now. In the name of Jesus. Huh. That's right. Silence. The power of God is going to follow some people. Two categories of people. The first category. Some birds have been assigned to your environment to form a covenant. And the target is you. Very soon the power of God will fall upon you. And their mission shall fail. second category of people your sickness started suddenly due to a spiritual attack right there where you are the power of God is going to fall upon you as I call the name of Jesus seven times here on that seventh call of that name the spirit responsible for the problem will be hit by the volcanic power of God and will depart from you immediately Jesus 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 that's right return to her what was stolen from her in the womb 
return to her that you shall have stolen from her in the womb return to her that you shall have stolen from her in the womb silence if you are the person here and your name is Peter me right there where you are there is an angel of God by your side that has recovered everything you've lost and putting them back into your head from where they were stolen now has the power of God coming upon you stretch your right hand towards this altar now father this hands that are stretched forth put your liquid fire upon it fire to remove every infirmity fire to burn and cast out every plantation of the enemy in the name of Jesus the one said we shall lay our hands on the sick and the sick can recover let the recovery power fall upon this hands in the name of Jesus now anywhere you have infirmity in your body or you were attacked in your dream smite it 21 hot times even if it's pending you smite it Get yourself ready now. And as you smite it, say, go back to your senders. In the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders. In the name of Jesus. Let's go! Riba Pia Likatea. discover that you have been healed the pain the problem you brought here has disappeared run quickly to this altar don't allow the devil to put the problem back run quickly to the altar thank you Jesus shout this louder than anyone around you this is not a negotiating prayer for we are not here tonight to negotiate you will ask a question my virtues what are you doing in the valley of witchcraft? Can you shout this loud? Come out! In the name of Jesus! That's right! Recover your virtues! Tonight, 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 tonight! Recover your virtues in the name of Jesus. Papila Katende Kerabo Sopola Kayabo Shanda. Recover your virtues in the name of Jesus. Can you say that with only anger? Let that voice be louder than that. You are a liar. Death! In the name of Jesus. Deal with those powers now. Makatende yabo shenteraba kasenta. Daribo sapande ke yabo shenteraba. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Makatenda yabo shentera basante. Jesus name we pray 
The Bible says no man likes a candle. I go and put it under the bed. That's why I want you to pray this prayer with boiling anger. Powers! Assigned to push my candle under the bed. Can you shout this loud? In the name of Jesus. We cover the testimonies, we cover the signs and wonders with the blood of Jesus. I decree that affliction will not rise again in your lives in the name of Jesus. The power of God will arise and fight all your battles in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Now raise your right hand to the heavens. I would decree like this my blessings hanging in the heavens. Can you shout this loud? Drop upon my hand. In the name of Jesus. Command you to drop upon your hands. Father, we thank you. Lord, continue to lay your hands upon us. Open our understanding tonight. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Bless our seat. God bless you. Tonight is the conclusion of the program. I plug my head into the socket of divine blessings. And we have covered various aspects. How to set our heads free. You need to listen carefully to me tonight. So that when the time comes to pray, you know how to pray very well. You pray very well from your heart and with everything that is in you. When that time comes. Thank you, Jesus. Evil hands and innocent heads. Evil hands and innocent heads. Evil hands on innocent heads. Please listen carefully to this message. In Genesis chapter 48, we read some mysterious verses. Genesis 48, we read some mysterious verses. Genesis 48, I read from verse 8. If you are there, say yes. Everybody in Genesis 48, 8? Because I see someone here tonight. The place they say you will never get to. You will get there by fire. The house they say you will not live in. You will live inside by fire. The honor they say you will never have. You will have it by fire. Genesis 48 verse 8. And Israel beheld Joseph's son, that is Jacob, and said, Who are these? And Joseph said unto his father, They are my sons, whom God had given me in this place. And he said, Bring them, I pray thee unto me, I will bless them. Listen to verse 10. Now the eyes of Israel were dim for age. So that he could not see. He could not even see those children. Because his eyes were dim for age. But his prophetic eyes were sharp. And he brought.
brought them unto him and he kissed them and embraced them. May heaven embrace you. In Jesus' name. And Israel said unto Joseph, Not thought to see thy face, and lo, God hath showed me also thy seed. And Joseph brought them out from between his knees, and he bowed himself with his face to the earth. And Joseph took them both, a frame in his right hand, towards Israel's left hand, and Manasseh in his left hand, towards Israel's right hand. He positioned the elder on the right, positioned the junior on the left, believing the man would just lay his hands like this. And Israel stretched out his right hand and laid it upon the frame, who was younger. And his left hand upon Manasseh said, guiding his hands wittingly, for Manasseh was the firstborn. And he blessed Joseph and said, God, before whom my father Abraham and Isaac did walk, the God which fed me all my life long after this day, the angel which redeemed me from all evil, bless these lads, and let my name be named on them, and the name of my father Abraham and Isaac. This is what we call generational blessing. He was invoking the blessing of Abraham, the blessing of Isaac, and his own blessing that the angel blessed him, is now provoking that blessings and imparting them upon those children. Generational blessing, generational virtue, generational benefits, generational virtues it was transferring it to their lives by laying hands on them. And let them grow into a multitude in the midst of the earth. And when Jesus saw that his father laid his right hand upon the head of Ephraim, it displeased him. And he held up his father's hand to remove it from Ephraim's head unto Manasseh's head. And Joseph said unto his father, No so, my father, but this is the firstborn. Put the right hand upon his head. And his father refused and said, I know it, my son. I know it. He crossed his hands like this. And Joseph was the father of those children. And when he saw the cross, he protested. He said, not so, my father. This is the senior one. Not so, my father. I prophesy upon the life of somebody. Every part that is saying not so to your blessings. Let them scatter now in the name of Jesus. Let them scatter now in the name of Jesus. Let them scatter now in the name of Jesus. Let them scatter now in the name of Jesus. Listen carefully. Jacob was a man that received blessing after warring with the angel. Isaac, his father, was a child of blessing. Abraham, their father, was a, was a father of blessings. So this man carried the man Jacob carried an, a generational anointing and laid hands on those children upon their heads. Likewise, just as Jacob transferred virtues, transferred good things, transferred generational blessings, the blessing of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob upon those children. Evil parents, demonic ancestors, Wicked ancestors, wicked parents also transfer wickedness, evil, sickness, frustration upon their children by laying hands upon them. And the power on the right hand, according to this scripture, is different from the one on the left hand. It's greater. Here lies the problem. That many of our forefathers did not serve the Lord, they served the devil actively. Many too have gone to places where nobody should touch them at all, but they allowed the evil men to lay hands on their head. There was a woman that went to the marketplace. She was buying things. But she noticed that she noticed that somebody was playing with the baby at her back. When she would look, she found that the hand of the man was on the head of the child. Why, if you want to play with the child, play with the child. Why are you laying hands on the head? But it was too late. The fellow who had satanic eyes 
had been able to see the glory on that child and has cleared it off by laying hands on the head. That was many, many years ago. Later, the man who collected the blessings, the glory of this child, got born again. He comes to church. He rejoices. He does praise worship. He joins in the services. He was always the best dancer around. But one day, he came to the service. And he was down. He wasn't dancing. He wasn't singing. It was very sad. And the pastor noticed. Pastor, brother, what's wrong with you today? You're always very happy. Said pastor, I saw a boy sleeping under the bridge. And I know that it was the boy that I laid on so many years ago to collect his glory. And that what that boy is suffering now was because of what he did. Therefore, I am decreeing from this pulpit that every conscious and unconscious laying on of evil hands on the head of anyone here or connected to this program be cleared away by the blood of Jesus. Be cleared away. 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 In the name of Jesus. A seven fold amen. Sit for a little bit. The head is above the body. In the head, you find the beginning of senses and motions. The head is the topmost part of the body. The head is where the symbol of power, authority, and honor are displayed. The head is the habitation of your glory. Crowns are always placed on the head. The Bible says Adam was crowned with glory and honor. The head is a center of communication. It is a faculty of reasoning. All the sense faculties are inside the head. The brain is also inside that head. It's the brain that tells you what to do and what not to do. The eyes that enables you to see is in the head. The nose which enables you to smell is in the head. The air which allows you to hear is in the head. The mouth, which is the point of entry of food, is in the head. So without that head, parts of the body cannot function. Every part of the body is connected to the head. And like I told you before, when you want to get visa, you want to get a passport, they are only interested in your head. Is that picture that interests them? Because you can change any other thing in your body, but you cannot change that head. If you want to know what is going on in your body, you cannot. It is through the head. And that head, when an evil man laid hands on it and imparts evil thing upon that head, it swallows it, transfers it through the body, and escorts the person through life. Some people will suffer from the cradle to the grave because evil hands have been laid upon them. When people lay hands on the head, is a way of connecting the message with the messenger. It's a way of connecting the gift with the gift giver. The blessings of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob was transmitted through the right hand of Jacob to the head of that child. And those of you who are Bible readers, you know that hands are laid in the Bible on the head for physical healing. The reverse is true. Hands can be laid on the person for sickness. To enter into the life of the person. I had a friend, an evangelist, who laid hands on the woman to pray. As he lays hands on that woman, she noticed that something was crawling through the head into his hands. And the thing entered into his hands. And the thing began to go towards his heart. Meanwhile, the woman, she, he prayed for her, left the room. My friend said, Madam, come back, come back, come back. We have not finished the prayer, come back, come back. The woman came back inside. He said, Linda, he replaced the hand on her head. I was said, back to the center. Back to the center. Back to the center. And do you know what? The thing began to crawl, crawl off from his hand. Crawl back into that head. So that laying, the, the, the laying hands of hand on the head is an agent of communication. In the Bible, they lay hands on it to impart blessings. 
hands can be laid on a person to impart curses as well. In the Bible, they lay hands on people to impart gifts, power, and authority. Reverse too can enter into the life of a person. In the Bible, they lay hands on people to send them out as ministers or to ordain them as ministers. The same thing that if we lay hands on fans can ordain you unto witchcraft, ordain you unto familiar spirit, and dedicate you to strange things you don't belong to. But then, when the laying out of hands is on your ancestors, it becomes a very serious matter. Because before some people would begin to now address the issue, the evil effect will have gone far. I prophesy once again, any problem that has gone far, in the life of anyone let the problem go back to the senders in the name of Jesus let your amen roar like thunder let it roar like thunder the most devastating evil laying of hands is when it is used to pronounce or to extend or to maximum, maximize the evil power in the ancestry. Sometimes, all the child, stop crying, stop crying, stop crying. They are using the hand to rub there by total strangers. It's an evil agenda. On our sister here, or watching us, you cannot say who touched your head as a baby. You cannot say who touch your head as a child. You even have no clue on the spiritual content of those saloons. The spiritual content of the owner of the saloons or you are making your hair. You have no clue. What are these ancestral powers? They are evil powers that are in charge of a family from generation to generation. They are powers assigned to family lineage to steal, to kill, and to destroy. There are powers assigned to monitor a family lineage. There are powers assigned to afflict a family. They represent the strong man against the family line. Strong line that is assigned against the family line. And central powers are the spirit behind collective family captivity. They are the powers assigned to execute punishment and cursed families. They are the powers assigned to discipline those violating a collective covenant. They are the powers sponsoring repeated evil family history. Repeated evil family history. They are the powers claiming to be the spirit of the dead inside a particular family. They are bloodline demons. These powers can be transmitted so easily when somebody with an evil power lays those hands upon you from your family line. And this is a very, very serious matter. And if this has happened to a person, the person should not be surprised. His spiritual growth is becoming difficult. Don't be surprised when the person is becoming a dropout. Don't be surprised when the person becomes someone who is stagnant and frustrated, you need to first of all surrender your life to Jesus. If you want to be free from these powers, you need to repent from all known sins. You need to wage war against these strange powers. You need to cancel the evil effect of evil laying on of hands upon your head. Many of us, before we got born again, evil hands have been laid upon that head. And we're struggling now to get out of it. That is the purpose of this closing meeting of this program. And it's a very, very serious matter. Right there where you are, I'd like you to bow down your head. Bow down your head to where you are. In case you are here tonight and you are not born again, you have not just surrendered your life to Jesus, wherever you are. Because I want to help you. While all eyes are closed, just raise up your right hand and see what I'm going to say after me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you now. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. As from today, I say bye-bye to the devil. I enter into the kingdom of light. In 
Jesus name. Amen. We said that short prayer with me. Immediately we close. Just find a way to the altar here. So that we can pray more with you. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Right there where you are. Ask the Lord to forgive you. Of any sin. That can keep any bondage in place. In your life today. Ask him to forgive you. Ask the Lord to forgive you. Amen. Right there where you are. Lay your right hand upon your head. And begin to plead the blood of Jesus. Upon that head. Say I plead the blood of Jesus. Upon my head now. I plead the blood of Jesus. Upon my head now. I plead the blood of Jesus. Upon my head now. I plead the blood of Jesus. Upon my head now. Begin to say it. Plead the blood of Jesus upon your head. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. As many people as are here tonight, and you are ready to defeat your Goliath, I want you to rise up on your feet and sing these songs with fire and with power. Sing without any compromise. Sing violently and with power. Thank you, Jesus. Let somebody shout, Holy Ghost fire! Holy Ghost fire! Oh. Ah, somebody that is tired of those problems, shout, Holy Ghost fire! Holy Ghost fire! Say, it is the lost battle! It is the lost battle! It is not my battle! It is not my battle! The Lord will fight for me! The Lord will fight for me! And I shall hold my peace! Singing. Now I want you to add the, your, the clapping of your hands to it now. Are you ready? Say, it is the lost battle. It is the lost battle. It is the battle. It is not my battle. It is not my battle. So the Lord will fight for me. The Lord will fight for me. And I shall hold my peace. And I shall hold my peace. It is the Holy Ghost war. It is the Holy Ghost war. Well, it is the lost battle. It is the lost battle. It is not my battle. It is not my battle. So the Lord will fight for me. The Lord will fight for me. And I shall hold my peace. And I shall hold my peace. It is the Holy Ghost. 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 It
Discussed there tonight. Next Sunday is our 25th year anniversary Thanksgiving service. Also, the Thanksgiving service for the 70 days prayer and fasting program for this year. So it's a two in one service. Don't plan to complete, but because we might have closed by the time you arrive. Praise the Lord. Rise your feet with your oil now. And with that oil in your hand, stretch it towards the altar and let your amen roar like thunder. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. This oil that is stretched to this altar by the spirit that moved upon the waters in the beginning. Move upon this oil in the name of Jesus. On anointing with this oil, let every consequence effect of any evil laying of hands vanish in the name of Jesus. Let this oil become the oil of healing, the oil of deliverance, the oil of power, the oil of strength. In the name of Jesus. Now apply the oil on your hand and use it to rub your head. Use it to rub your head. That's right. 
rub your head. Thank you, Jesus. Do it a second time. Something is happening already. Do it a third time. It's happening already. Yes, I told you. The heavy loads upon the head have been shifted away. Now with a voice that roars like thunder, you will now lay that under your head. Put the oil away now. Lay your right hand upon your head and pray the following prayers with all the violence you can gather. It is important that you pray them violently. If you keep quiet, it will be very sad. Glory killers! Glory killers! Assign to my head! Damn! In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Arrows fired into my brain. Backfire. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray it well. Arrows fired into my brain. Backfire. 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 Backfire, backfire, Makashente Raba. In Jesus' name we pray. I wish you could see what is going on now. The powers chanting incantations to catch my head. Da! In the name of Jesus. Yes. Makate setela kaya bo shendera ba santa riba pia ni katenda ka da kaya bo shendera ba santa in Jesus name we pray my head hear the word of the Lord shout his Lord. Reject curses in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and reject the curses. In Jesus' name we pray. Chains upon my head. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Jesus. Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. My glory. And the lifter of my head. Jesus Christ. Can you shout his love, my glory, and the lift up my head? Jesus. Lift up my head in the name of Jesus. My glory and the lift of my head. Jesus Christ, lift up my head. In Jesus then we pray every bewitchment I sign against my head die in the name of Jesus something is happening here deal with the bewitchment yes 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Every horn of my father's heart. Press it down my head. Blast it. In the name of Jesus. Every horn of my father's heart. Jesus. Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. 
Wasters and emptiers. Targeting my head. You are a liar. Duh! In the name of Jesus. Wasters and emptiers. Targeting my head. Yes. In Jesus name we pray Luggage of darkness On my head Catch fire In the name of Jesus Thank you Jesus in Jesus name we pray say blood of Jesus can I hear you shouting it loud can you shout it loud arise wipe off every woman on my head in the name of Jesus Blood of Jesus arise. Makatenda ya boshente raba. Rimo sepende ke ya boshente. In Jesus then we pray. Three more prayers on that head. Lay your hands on it and pray these three with merciless violence. Any negative oil upon my head dry up in the name of Jesus yes I mean negative all upon my head dry up dry up dry up in the name of Jesus in Jesus name we pray anointing that will make my cup run over Fall upon my head in the name of Jesus. Yes. In Jesus, then we pray. This is the final prayer. I see many things happening. I see destiny is being rearranged. Ancestral hands upon my head can you shout it loud can you shout that louder than that we die in the name of Jesus Command the hand to wither. In Jesus, then we pray. Keep that hand on your head. Father, I stand there as a servant and I decree that your angels will begin to go from person to person. Every virtue that has been stolen from the head that has been restored. In the name of Jesus. As a result of tonight's meeting, your life shall take a new dimension that will catapult your destiny. 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 In the name of Jesus. The Lord blesses you from Zion. Make his face to shine the point. And be gracious unto you. You go from strength to strength. You go from glory to glory. The hand of Messiah will fight your battles. No weapon from against you shall prosper. All the prayer requests are all answered by fire. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. And let us share the grace in fellowship.